friends welcome to dago education if not yet subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this model we are going to discuss our last question in this exercise in a polynomial p of x so what they are given here is p of x will be equal to x square plus x plus 41 put different values of x and find find p of x can you conclude after putting different values of x that is p of x is a prime for all is x is an element of natural numbers so here their capital given that is natural numbers which will start from 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so this is the set of 1 2 3 4 and so on so they are given like this then now find what you find so let's take x is a natural number putting different values of x y of x is a prime for all so we cannot predict that one we will see how it is so let's going to take if x is equals to 0 then what is p of x so p of 0 will be equal to 0 square plus 0 plus 41 what we are getting 41 if x is equals to 1 that implies p of 1 will be equal to 1 square plus 1 plus 41 so 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus 42 that is sorry 41 so this is what we will get so 41 plus 43 so this is prime number we know this is prime number this is also prime number then we are going to check for another number That is x is equals to two. That is p of two will be equal to that is two square plus two plus forty one. So two square is what four plus two plus forty one. So four plus two will be six. Six plus forty one will be forty seven. So this is also prime. Then we will be will going to check for x is equals to three. That is implies p of three will be equal to three square plus three plus forty one. So three square is nine plus three plus forty one. So nine plus three. What is that? Nine plus three will be that is twelve. Twelve plus forty-one will be fifty-three. So this is also prime number. Then what we have to check it here? Let's go and substitute the value of put x is equals to forty-one. So they won't be given. That is that implies p of forty-one will be equal to forty-one whole square plus forty-one plus forty-one. So forty-one whole square is nothing but what? So you can take one condition here. So forty one is a common. You can take forty one into forty one plus forty one plus forty one. So you can take common of forty one here. One forty one plus here one plus one. That is forty one into forty one into two. That is forty one plus two will be forty three. So what we will get this condition. So forty one into three. What is the case here? The forty one into three will be forty three will be one seven six three. That is one thousand seven hundred. Sixty-three. So one thousand seven hundred and sixty-three. Maybe it is divisible. We, this is not prime. So it is not prime. Why? Because it is. We can write prime number is nothing but the number which is only divisible by the number one and itself. So this number can be divisible by either forty-one or either forty-three. So this is not prime number. That means this case, this polynomial. The conjecture, what they are given here is, therefore, what you can say here is, this conjecture p of x is a not is a prime is a false. So p of x is what you can say here is, so p of x what they are given x square plus x plus forty one is prime. They are telling that that is false. So prime is, so it is, it is false in all the cases. In all the cases. That uh, this conjecture is false. The conjecture, what you can say here is that is false. Conjecture is false. So like this, we need to find. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.